Hello, and thanks for joining us. We're incredibly humbled to have around 600 students and parents registered for tonight's virtual open house for Tufts pre-college programs. My name is Ariana Wilson. I'm the director of pre-college programs here at Tufts, and we're excited to launch our 2025 program year and welcome students back to campus with the award-winning academics at Tufts University in our pre-college programs. Tonight, we'll discuss our returning programs and exciting additions to our portfolio for spring and summer 2025. Um, during the webinar, please feel free to enter any questions in the Q&A section, and we'll try and get answers to you during the session or at the end. But if we run out of time, we'll also be sure to get back to you on email, and you can always um, email us at precollege at tufts.edu. Also, so we can learn a little bit about you, we've launched a quick poll where you can fill out general information about who you are and what types of programs you might be looking for. As a quick note, this webinar will be recorded and posted on our YouTube channel, so don't worry if you miss anything. You'll have it in your inbox soon. Um, and before we get further into things, I'm lucky to be joined tonight by the rest of our pre-college teammates, who I'll let introduce themselves. Hi, all. My name is Tressa Gennati. I'm an Associate Director of Pre-College Programs. We're excited about discussing our various programs with you this evening, and we hope that you'll be able to join us this summer. Hi, everyone. My name is Tony Gao. I'm an associate director of pre-college programs as well, and I'm also one of the program leads for the mini med school summer intensive. It's nice to meet you all. Hi, everyone. My name is Max Taylor, and I'm the assistant director of residential operations for Tufts pre-college programs. I'm responsible for supporting the residential program, as well as coordinating all of the logistics that make our amazing programs happen. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Maggie Tiano. I am the Assistant Director of Student Success here in pre-college. I'm also responsible for supporting our Climate Resilience Institute that will be running in both spring and summer this year. Uh, for tonight, I'll also be presenting on our suite of engineering programs. Hi, all. My name is Abby Terrian, and I'm a Program Administrator Team Lead for pre-college. The programs I'm responsible for supporting are International Relations, Leadership for Social Change, Finance Essentials, and Coding Academy. Hi, everybody. My name is Nathan Giacalone, and I'm also one of the um, pre-college program administrators. Uh, I The programs I'm responsible for supporting are the SMFA Studio Art Program, Tufts College Experience, Tufts College Accelerator, and the courses, workshops, and seminars for uh, high school students. Hi, everyone. My name is Marissa Doyle. I am also a program administrator for pre-college. The programs I support are the health science programs. So this includes the mini med school, lab science investigations, adventures in veterinary medicine, and our newest addition, the mini dental school. All right. Thanks for being here tonight, team. Uh, we're excited to have you share your knowledge tonight with our packed agenda. As a quick overview of the night, first, we'll take you through our 2025 program operations offerings, as well as our application process, and then we'll share some insight into our Tufts pre-college community, as well as some social activities. And as I mentioned throughout the webinar, um, you can feel free to enter some questions into the Q&A section of the webinar, and we'll answer them as we go. And if we have any time at the end, we can take um, additional questions as well. And with that, I will hand it over to Tressa for a quick overview of our program portfolio. Great. Thanks, Ariana. So now that you've been introduced to the Tufts Pre-College Programs team, uh, we can get started with the real reason you are here, and that's to learn more about our 2025 program offerings. So on this screen, you can see our different program types. Uh, we've, we have college experience, engineering and computer science, art and business, health and medicine, and social impact. Some of the programs uh, with, within these categories uh, span a full six weeks, while others are shorter intensive programs that run one to three weeks. In the next hour, we'll give you an introduction to each of our programs, and you can always find more information on our website at precollege.tufts.edu. First up is Nathan, who will share details regarding our Tufts College Experience Program. Thank you, Tresha. <clears throat> Thank you, Tressa. Uh, we're starting off tonight with our signature program, uh, our six weeks, our six week Tufts College Experience, or TCE as we like to call it. This curated college prep program is open to rising sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are looking to immerse themselves in an authentic college experience. 
in a TCE program, students enroll in two four credit courses from a selection of over 50 courses available to high school students this summer, offered by more than 20 different academic departments. Through TCE, you can explore new subject areas and take a class that's not generally offered in high school. These include health and community systems or the origins of electronic music. Alternatively, you can fulfill some of your future undergraduate requirements with classes like Calc 1, 2, and 3 and Intro to Psychology. In addition to the two courses you select, TCE students can also participate in our college admissions essay writing workshop at no additional cost. This workshop guides students in developing a fully formed college admissions essay by the end of the program. Every Friday, all TCE students will attend our College Prep 101 workshop, which consists of two sections, admissions prep and college exploration. The morning session will be led by tough staff and students and will teach essential skills for college, such as choosing a major and crafting an effective resume. Furthermore, on most Friday afternoons, students will take a tour of a different Boston area college or university, gaining insights into the similarities and differences among prestigious institutions in the greater Boston area. Historically, these tours have included visits to schools like Amherst College, Boston College, and Harvard University. Through the TCE program, high school students from around the world will have the unique opportunity to study alongside tough students, faculty, and staff. Upon successful completion of the program, TCE students will receive Tufts credit for their coursework and will have the option to request a Tufts transcript. Now, <clears throat> it's important to remember um, these are comprehensive undergraduate courses and as indicated, um, each involves a considerable amount of out-of-class work each week. Um, now, I'll keep things going to discuss our Tufts College Accelerator program. Uh, <clears throat> this program has a lot of similarities to the Tufts College Experience uh, program, but in a shorter format. The Accelerator will be offered in residential, commuter, or virtual modalities. This program is broken up into two weeks into two week sessions, and you can choose up to take up to two week sessions for a total of four weeks. During the program, students will choose two focus seminars from a wide variety of topics, including anything from computer science to creative writing. These seminars really represent the breadth of the research being conducted at Tufts, uh, as they stem from real studies conducted by the faculty who are teaching the seminar. In addition to academic seminars, like in Tufts College Experience, students will also participate in social activities and Friday college prep sessions, which include afternoon tours of area colleges and universities, as well as admissions related sessions. Our goal for the Tufts College Accelerator is to give students an opportunity to really explore their academic interests while having that same immersive college life experience that Tufts College Experience offers, but for those students who might not be able to commit to a full six weeks. We know that college prep is important to many of our students, so they will have a chance to join those critical Friday sessions and get a leg up on their college application process. And with that, I'll pass it over to Maggie, who will take us through climate the Climate Resilience Institute. Thanks, Nathan. So next up, we have our Climate Resilience Institute intensive. Uh, there's never been a more pressing time to study the intersection of environmental change and social equality to learn how you can make a difference. Through the two-week summer intensive, students will apply an inter interdisciplinary case study approach to social, ecological, and political facets of contemporary environmental issues. Learn the principles and key concepts of environmental change and resilience from experts in many fields, and also gain hands-on knowledge of techniques for environmental data collection, analysis, and visualization. Topics span from resilience water infrastructure to climate activisms and environmental justice. Students will active, actively participate in community responses to climate change through a series of socio-environmental field trips with Boston area organizations. Working in small teams, students will identify socio-environmental research questions, gather and analyze data on the subject, and synth synth synthesize their findings in a college-level capstone project. Now on to Abby to share more information about our international relations programs. Thanks, Maggie. The international relations intensive gives high school students great insight into this rapidly changing field of international impact and partnerships. It's perfect for students interested in studying current and historical global issues. As you may know, Tufts is home to the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy, one of the top graduate schools in international affairs in the country. 
This program takes full advantage of the tremendous faculty and expert resources of the Fletcher School and of Tufts accomplished international relations program in the School of Arts and Sciences. Students will attend lectures from Tufts faculty members on topics such as cybersecurity, citizens and empires, evolving relations with China, and negotiation and conflict resolution. Further, in accordance with Tufts goal that all students emerge with a foreign language and cultural competency, IR students will study a language of their choosing with Tufts language professors. Students will have the opportunity to either continue their studies with a familiar language by taking intermediate French, intermediate Spanish, advanced Spanish, or English as an additional language. Or they can learn a new language, choosing from beginning Russian, beginning Arabic, and beginning Chinese. Student studies will culminate in a research paper on an international relations topic of their choice. IR intensive students will receive Tufts pre-matriculation credit upon successful completion of this program. And exciting news for this year, we will also be introducing a spring edition of this program in a condensed action-packed format. And then we have the Leadership for Social Change, directed by members of our Tisch College of Civic Life. This program is designed for students who are passionate about finding ways to enact change in society. This two-week residential program takes place during two sessions. At Tisch College, we recognize the power that young people possess and the societal impact they can have. They firmly believe that young people should have the opportunity to reflect and brainstorm the ways they want their future society to look like. Course activities are in place to highlight society's mutual interdependence and interconnectedness. The two-week program will be a way to unite students across the world and equip them with change-making skills, resiliency strategies, and civic knowledge to build connections, to work collaboratively, and to emerge as change agents who can inspire others. Students will emerge from the program with a greater understanding of societal issues affecting communities and how these issues came to be. Students will emerge with a toolkit of knowledge and practical skills to tap into as they move into the next phase of their life. Students will have also made connections not only with their peers, but with many of the civic leaders, students, and faculty who are a part of the program. Additionally, students will receive Tufts credit upon successful completion of the program. Now we will move on to a new program, Business Essentials. Business Essentials is a brand new program this summer. It is a two week residential or commuter program that will run during session two. This program is open to rising high school sophomores through seniors. Our Business Essentials program is, in, is run in partnership with Tufts Gordon Institute and is designed to be an engaging introduction to business concepts. Students will explore the role of business in the modern world by learning about various types of businesses and the roles and functions within them. Students will gain confidence in speaking about businesses and business situations and will consider how they might engage effectively and successfully in a business with in the future, whether that be as an employee, a manager, entrepreneur, business leader, or change agent. The Business Essentials program will allow students to gain real-world insight into modern businesses through guest speakers from diverse fields and also to engage in debates, role-playing, and case study discussions. The program will also delve deeper into discussions surrounding cultural, ethical, and technological factors affecting business decisions today, including artificial intelligence and corporate social responsibility. And let's now talk a little bit about the Tufts Entrepreneurship and Innovation Bootcamp. This two-week intensive is an immersive experience for high school students interested in learning how to solve big societal problems through new venture creation. Students will learn how to build a new venture from the ground up, whether it is a startup, small business, or nonprofit. Students will experience an authentic Tufts entrepreneurship experience. Our fast-paced interactive workshops are taught by the same professors and thought leaders who teach entrepreneurship to our undergraduate and graduate students. They will spend time with mentors drawn from Tufts students and alumni who will be your guides to learning opportunities and resources at Tufts. ENT students will also be working in the very same buildings that some of our most successful alumni entrepreneurs got their start. I will continue here with the Tufts Marketing Essentials. Our marketing program is a two-week immersive experience for high school students run in partnership with the Gordon Institute and Derby Center. This course is for students interested in learning marketing concepts and strategies they can apply to their own lives and future careers. The skills of marketing can touch upon several business and professional domains and can be applied across a range of contexts. 
Marketing continues to be a popular topic and one that enjoys good recognition among this audience because of the career opportunities available across this discipline. Our interactive workshops are led by the same professors and thought leaders who teach these concepts to our undergraduate and graduate students. Now, I'll turn it back over to Maggie to go over our engineering programs. Thanks, Abby. Uh, so to start off, we're going to start about our engineering of music, which is a brand new program this summer. Um, it's a two-week residential or commuter program that will run during session one. This program is open to rising high school sophomores through seniors. Engineering of music is designed to have students explore the role of engineering in multiple facets of music creation and delivery, and also gain, gain a broader perspective on the potential for meaningful career paths that integrate their academic and extracurricular interests. Students will learn the fundamentals of acoustics, record, and visualized sound, build simple acoustic and electric instruments, build loudspeakers, and investigate acoustical responses of music rooms around campus. Students will also participate in group discussions surrounding relevant math and physics concepts, participate in hands-on engineering projects, and on-campus field trips to see these concepts in action. And we'll also gain exposure to guest experts from the industry and throughout academia with diverse career trajectories. As the accumulation of this program, students will select their favorite topic or activity to develop into a final project that will be presented in a public showcase and documented in personal digital portfolios. In addition to the online application, this re program requires a transcript, a letter of recommendation, and a parent permission form. Next up, we have our engineering design lab. This two-week residential or commuter program takes place within the two sessions this summer and is open to rising high school sophomores through seniors. Students must be at least 15 years old by the time the program starts. Um, like other programs, um, student Engineering Design Lab offers both commuter and residential options depending on students' need. Students will spend the mornings hearing from Tufts outstanding engineering faculties and industry experts, learning about engineering research being done at Tufts, as well as challenges encountered by Tufts faculty as part of their work and how those challenges can be solved with the tools and technologies within their labs. Students will attend workshops where they'll develop the programming and maker skills they need to take on real world challenges of their own in our state of the art no lot maker space. As part of this program, students will gain a more comprehensive understanding of different ways that engineers solve problems and challenges in both public and private sectors. They will gain experience in rapid prototyping using Raspberry Pi based robotics platform and coding in Python and will learn more about how to respond to client needs in their engineering designs. Working in small groups, they'll have the opportunity to tackle their own challenges, utilizing their newly acquired mechanical and electrical engineering skills to create design prototypes. This will have an opportunity to present their prototypes in the final expedition attended by their peers, Tufts faculty members, and family. In addition to um, the participation, this program requires it, sorry, in addition to the online application, this program requires a transcript, a letter of recommendation, and a parent permission form as well. Moving on, we have our engineering and investigations intensive. This is also a two week residential or commuter program um, that rose in popularity over the past few summers and will be running for two ses for sessions. Um, this program is open to rising high school sophomores through seniors. Engineering investigations is designed to provide an introduction to the different disciplines within the broad field of engineering, such as civil and environmental engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science, and biomedical engineering. Through this two-week program, students will work on various aspects of engineering research, design, and entrepreneurship. In addition, participants will be engaged in learning methods and approaches for engineering design, exploring engineering ethics, and its intersections with ethics, social justice, and applying these ideas through hands-on projects. Each day, students will have an opportunity to hear from either various student um, or prof professional panels, guest speaking professionals, and leaders in the industry with their expertise. Students will also, in the second week, focus on creating either a final design project or presentation of their choosing. One of the highlights of our program is the opportunity for small student group work. 
um, to work together in taking a deeper dive in the area of engineering they find engaging in order to develop their final project. At the end of the summer, students of uh, all our groups will display their final projects in the final presentation showcase. Last up in our engineering suite is the engineering with artificial intelligence program. So I'm excited to share some more information about one of our newer engineering programs, Engineering with Artificial Intelligence. This two-week residential or commuter program ran for the first time last summer and was extremely popular. This program will be running during both sessions this summer and is open to rising high school sophomores through seniors. For this program, applicants will need experience with programming in order to succeed, specifically in the concepts of program flow, variables, loops, conditional functions, in arrays or other data structures. Through this program, students will learn about the field of artificial intelligence, how it's impacting technology and society. Students will leave more informed within the field with an understanding of ethical and social justices, considerations through debates and discussions, and the use of AI in many different applications. Students will also implement applications using existing AI platforms and write new code for AI for solving problems. So please join us this summer in exploring the, the world of AI through engineering. Now I'll hand it over to Tressa to share more about the coding program. Great. Thanks, Maggie. If engineering specific intensives aren't for you, don't worry. We also have our Coding Academy, which is a two-week commuter or residential program. The Coding Academy intensive will equip students of all levels of experience with in-demand programming skills needed to build apps that solve real world problems. Students will learn or expand their knowledge of the coding language Python. Python, which is one of the most popular programming languages in use today, is used for mobile apps, web and software development, as well as desktop graphics and user interfaces. Students will learn about these languages as well as other topics like data visuals, visualization and interpretation, machine learning and cryptography in workshops taught by Tufts graduate students and faculty. They will also gain hands-on programming experience throughout the program. In addition, tech treks to Boston area technology-centric companies will also allow students to explore the vast array of careers in the expanding fields of software and technology. Some past examples of tech treks have included visits to HubSpot, Google, Fidelity, as well as guest speaker sessions and more. The last week in particular will offer students the chance to apply what they've learned as they focus on designing, creating, and pitching their final coding projects which they will demo to a group of their peers, as well as Tufts faculty and staff. Upon successful completion of the program, students will receive Tufts credit for their work. All skill levels are welcome. Students will be grouped based on their ability levels and provided with work appropriate to their skills. In addition to the online application, this program requires a transcript, one letter of recommendation, and a parent permission form. Students will also be asked to complete a brief survey indicating their past experience with computers. So I'll now pass it on to Tony to share more information about our health and medicine programs. Thank you, Tressa. Um, I'll be talking to you about Mini Med School. As I mentioned, I am one of the program leads for this summer intensive. Mini Med School provides driven pre-college students the opportunity to explore crucial, crucial facets of the medical school experience at Tufts University School of Medicine, one of the nation's leading medical schools. Here are some of the program highlights, which include gaining experience with clinical skills, such as taking vital signs, suturing, and more, participating in medical school style case studies in a diagnostic clinical lab, attending career talks with medical professionals, preparing a capstone project in teams focusing on a clinical skill or health topic of your choice, and last but certainly not least, learning from our admissions staff, as well as current medical students, about the admissions process and what the life of a medical student is like. For summer 2025, we will offer three sessions of mini med school. Here you can see a quick comparison between sessions one, two, and three in terms of modality, length, and dates. As you can see, session one is a commuter-only program that is offered during the last week of June. Session two is a two-week residential and commuter program that runs in mid-July. 
Um, again, this is a two week session. I'll emphasize that as opposed to one and three, which are one week sessions. Finally, session three is a one week residential and commuter program that is offered during late July. The session three residential dates include the weekend following the last day of official programming on July 25th. This gives residen residential students additional time to experience campus life activities. Please note that the program highlights I discussed on the previous slide apply to all of the sessions for mini med school that are shown. Uh, in terms of content differences between the sessions, what I will say broadly is that the one week sessions emphasize an immersive exposure to hands on activities such as clinical skills and diagnostic simulations. Um, the two week session session two features additional seminars for students who are interested in learning more about careers in medicine. These talks may detail specialties such as surgery or other professions such as physician assistants. For detailed comparison between the three sessions, please vis visit our website to learn more about what each session offers. This will help you decide which session is right for you. If you have any questions, please reach out to the email you see on this slide, minimedschool at tufts.edu, and we will be happy from here to, from you. In addition to the pre-college email address, pre-college at tufts.edu. Now I will turn it over to Marissa to talk about the rest of the health science programs. Thanks, Tony. Next is our lab science investigations, antimicrobial resistance. This program is a two week laboratory based experience where you contribute to a research project that studies a critical societal challenge. As a student, you'll become a researcher working to understand the challenge of antimicrobial resistance and antibiotic stewardship. You will have a uniquely immersive experience with the One Health approach that recognizes that the health of people is closely connected to the health of animals in our shared environment. Students will also have the opportunity to contribute to active research projects while developing core lab skills such as lab safety, techniques like bacterial culture, PCR detection of antimicrobial resistance genes, and microscopy data management, maintaining lab records, working with a lab group, and much more. Finally, you will hear perspectives from experts in many fields, and you will work with laboratory research techniques used by engineers, social scientists, biomedical scientists, veterinarians, physicians, drug developers, epidemiologists, healthcare policy experts, and envi environmental scientists who will work together at Tufts Levy Center for Integrated Management of Antimicrobial Resistance, also known as CMAR. Now we'll talk about adventures in veterinary medicine. Adventures in veterinary medicine is an engaging and fun way for high schoolers to spend two weeks learning more about the veterinary profession. We'll be offering two sessions for students to have the opportunity to dig into veterinary medicine through an exciting and intensive program where you'll be surrounded by others who share your passion for animals, health, and science. Students will explore specialty fields and important topics in veterinary medicine through informative lectures by staff's faculty, staff, and vet students. Students will also get up close and personal with the animals on the coming school farm while learning proper animal handling techniques and performing physical examinations. Students will build their vet skills, practicing bandaging and suturing, learn how to read x-rays, give a clinical exam to a dog, and work as a team to solve a challenging medical case. And finally, to wrap up our health science programs, we are excited to announce our brand new mini dental school. Mini dental school is an immersive week long journey designed to introduce high schoolers to the exciting world of dentistry and healthcare. Participants will delve into various dental specialties while gaining a solid foundation in human anatomy with a particular emphasis on the oral cavity. The program emphasizes hands-on learning and program highlights include engaging in hands-on simulations of dental procedures, such as cavity fillings, plaque removal, and suturing, all under the guidance of experienced professionals. Exploring the latest advancements in dental technology and techniques to develop a forward-looking perspective on the future of dentistry, and also participating in interactive learning, reviewing real-life patient cases to understand oral health impact on wellness, offering insights and in how oral health connects to our overall well-being. The program culminates in a capstone project where students apply their newfound knowledge to present innovative solutions or ideas in oral health care. With a blend of interactive workshops, educational sessions, and practical experiences, 
This program provides an engaging platform for students to explore their passion for dentistry and healthcare, inspiring them to consider future careers in the field. Now I'll throw it back to Nathan to talk about our SMFA program. Thank you, Marissa. Uh, St SMFA Studio Art is our only three-week summer program, uh, and it's open to rising high school sophomores, juniors, and seniors, and students must be 15 years old by the program start. This program is designed for high school artists considering pursuing art as a college major or even a career path to help them elevate their practice, refine their techniques, and grow their portfolio. Taught in a highly collaborative manner, students will be encouraged to blur the lines between disciplines, <clears throat> led by a team of qualified artists and educators. All students will get instruction on advancing technical skills in drawing, painting, sculpture, and animation, allowing you to build a portfolio of materially complex, intentional works of art. Group critiques led by instructors, field trips to local museums and galleries, and a critical studies class will facil facilitate analysis and contextualization of art within the real world, encouraging you to think deeply about what it means to make art. This program serves as a great test drive for art school, with many hours spent in specialized studio spaces, interacting with other young artists and diving headfirst into the creative process. For those students preparing to apply to art programs, this program also affords participants the opportunity to work directly with SMFA admissions representatives to review and hone their art portfolio, perfect their artist statement, and find the right college for them. This program concludes with a final exhibition, allowing students to experience curating and installing an art exhibition while sharing their work with friends and family. And now I turn it back to Ariana for the uh, spring programs. Thanks, Nathan and team. Um, so this year, we're excited to announce the launch of our new spring seminar and intensive series. Um, during the Massachusetts Public School February and April vacation weeks, we'll be hosting for the first time four-day commuter programs in a few of our existing and some new content areas. During the February and April breaks, we'll offer the opportunity for students to enroll in a variety of seminars in a flexible format with morning and afternoon offerings to suit your student's schedule. Um, our seminars are a new take on our summer Tufts College Accelerator, which Nathan talked about earlier, where students are able to enroll in seminar topics of their choosing, taught by Tufts faculty and graduate students with, with expertise in the field. Um, some of our seminars may be offered in commuter, hybrid, or virtual formats, depending on um, the offering and your needs. And some seminar topics this year include biomedical engineering, cognition and perception of digital media, and teaching and learning about race. During the April session, in addition to our seminar offerings, we'll be running one-week versions of our existing international relations and climate resilience institute programs. And we'll also be offering for the first time a new finance essentials intensive. Our new Finance Essentials program is run in partnership with the Tufts Economics Department, as well as the Department of Urban and Environmental Policy and Planning, and it's designed to expose students to finance, financial instruments, financial institutions, and the role these play in the global economy. The goal of the program is to introduce high school students to the dynamic world of finance through a series of core skill building and practice sessions that will each focus in a distinct market and set set of financial instruments. Students will meet practitioners and dig into the functions and interconnectivity of a wide variety of institutions such as banks, investment firms, stock exchanges, and also government institutions such as the U.S. Federal Reserve and U.S. Treasury. They'll understand the role of financial instruments between both investors and savers, and they'll be exposed to several alternative structures designed to address issues of climate, ecosystem preservation, biodiversity, and social equity. Um, having developed basic skill base and broad overview of the markets, Financial Essentials will close out by linking the session to careers in finance and importantly to personal finance tools needed to manage career aspirations of your students. The course is intended to inspire students to consider academic tracks that lead to career opportunities while giving them immediate access to the world around them. Students will receive skills building and practices to concepts such as the fundamentals of money, investment, and the risk and functions of a variety of financial institutions through lectures, gaming exercises, and other small group exercises and micro assignments. 
the goal is for students to gain insight on the concepts, such as what it would be like to transition to a net zero economy, as well as using finance to combat climate change or racial inequity, ultimately discovering the role of finance that will play in the building the future that they want to be a part of. Now that you've heard about the awesome programs in this year's program portfolio, I'll turn it over to Abby to talk through our application process to get you and your student enrolled. Thanks, Ariana. Here, we're at the point where we get into one of the most important steps in our process, which is getting ready for the application. First things first, you'll head to our application landing page to register for your account. You can find that link on all of our program websites at the Apply Now button. Once you've registered, you can log into the system and start your application. You'll put in some basic information, such as personal information, family information, and then you'll select your program. To supplement your application, you'll be asked to provide contact information for a recommender and a school official who will upload your transcript. Some programs may require additional application materials, such as a brief personal statement, lab preferences, or level of experience in a particular content area. As part of your application, your parents and guardians will also need to fill out the parent permission form, and your recommender and school official will need to be uploading your letter of recommendation and your transcript respectively. Once we've received these materials in general, you should expect an admissions decision within 10 business days. Some of our programs may have special circumstances in which there are priority deadlines. Please carefully review the website for program specific details, which will be announced soon. Upon admission, you'll be asked to submit your deposit in some enrollment forms, followed by a full payment. And just like that, you'll be ready to study with us at Tufts. With that, I'll turn things over to Nathan to talk through our open enrollment courses, workshops, and seminars for high schoolers program. Thank you, Abby. Uh, courses, workshops, and seminars provide students with the opportunity to enroll in up to two courses from a selection of over 100 offerings across two sessions. These courses are taught by Tufts faculty who are leaders in their respective fields. The complete course listing is avail available at courses.tufts.edu. Participants can choose from a diverse range of on-campus, hybrid, and virtual courses. Upon completion, students earn Tufts credit and have the option to request a transcript at the end of the program. A distinctive feature of courses, workshops, and seminars is our pre-college hallmark courses, namely health science honors, law and ethics, and writing with style as an introduction to college writing. Specifically designed for high schoolers, these courses aim to bridge the gap between high school school and college and are taught by accomplished visiting faculty with expertise in designing courses for a high school aged audience. Students enrolled in any session two course at Tufts have the opportunity to participate in college prep workshops. Courses, workshops, and seminars students may enroll in the College Prep 101 workshop or college admissions write, uh, essay writing for an additional fee. Enrolling in courses, workshops, and seminars provides the flexibility to tailor your schedule according to your specific needs and availability. Given the unique aspects of the application and registration process for courses, workshops, and seminars, I am going to guide you through the specific steps of this program. The, the enrollment period for this program opens on January 6, 2025. To begin, students should go to universitycollege.tufts.edu slash courses um, browse to register. That link is also available on the program website and through courses.tufts.edu. Once you've selected a course, you can add to your cart and check out to register. Once you've registered, you'll receive an email from our Slate application system to create an account and submit an application to confirm your registration. As part of this process, you will need to have your guardian fill out the parent permission form. During the application process, you'll also be asked to provide the contact information for a school official and a recommender who will upload your transcript and recommendation respectively. We will approve your registration when we receive these materials. After that, you will be asked to complete some post enrollment forms. Once we receive these forms, you're all set. And the only thing to do is look forward to the start of the course. So now I'll turn it over to Max, who will discuss the pre college community. Thanks, Nathan. One of the most important parts of your experience at Tufts Pre-College programs, no matter which one you choose, will be the community that you join. Not only will you be building upon your academic interests and skill sets, but you'll be meeting students from around the globe with similar goals and interests, as well as world-renowned faculty and staff to teach and mentor you through the process. Don't take it from us. Visit our website at precollege.tufts.edu and experience it for yourself with our student testimonial videos and final work projects. 
And next, I'll share a bit about the social aspect of our pre-college programs here at Tufts. Last but not least, we have a range of social activities and non-academic experiences that are open to our residential students. In the past, these activities have included walking the Freedom Trail in Boston, soaking up some sun at Crane Beach in Ipswich, rides on Godzilla, bowling, glow-in-the-dark runs, signature speakers, both in-person and virtual, and personal wellness experiences. Don't worry, many more fun adventures are being planned just for the summer of 2025. So if you're interested in our 2025 programs, the best way to stay up to date is through our social media channels. Whether you enjoy Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter, we are always updating our pages with the most up-to-date information about pre-college programs. All right, I think that's a wrap. Thank you, team, and thank you all for joining us tonight. Um, we appreciate you spending your time with us to listen to our team, give this informative insight on our programs and the Tufts pre-college and community. And we hope that you enjoyed the hour with us and learned more about what you were looking for from our pre-college programs. As a reminder, applications open on December 2nd. So please visit us at precollege.tufts.edu for more details on all of our spring and summer programs. And if you posted a question and we didn't get to it, or you think of a question you haven't asked yet, you're always welcome to email us at precollege at tufts.edu or give us a call anytime at 617-627-2926.